Hi, it's Miss Pam, and I finally got on to doing this Titan video um, on the Gaucho Fan Knot Key Fob, the, um, the one that I worked on before. It was on this mandrel, and I, I just pulled it off, okay? So now it's just loose of the mandrel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a core on it that I'm going to tighten onto. And so I have about maybe, I don't know, a foot and a half or two feet of just some scrap cord that I put this hook on, you could put a keychain, uh, a round uh, key, what do you call those, what, I don't know, a round key ring, and um, in, I put a, a hex nut and a washer, or you could put a bead, I do, I do both, and then I'm gonna take the cord, here you see the cord, and I'm gonna fit it through, down through the, the knot, there it is, popping out the other side, and then I'm gonna stick it onto the other side of the cord, you can try to just thread the cords through without a fit, but I find it easier if I can put my fit on to just go down through the middle here. Okay, so I put a core. I don't know if you can see it now. I pull it. So I have my, my hook, my nut, my washer, and the two cords are just hanging out the bottom of the knot. I have all these loose cords from when we tied it, too. I'm going to take my... my uh, um, tightening tool and I'm going to just pick a cord at random I'll just take uh, this green one and I just put the tightening tool through follow the cord around and find it on the other side it's right here and pull it and the whole idea when you tighten any large knot is you just have to go a little bit at a time it's super time-consuming it's probably gonna take me 20 or 30 minutes to tighten this, and now it's tightened all the way down like here. Now I'll start on the yellow cord, and I'll tighten that one and work my way down. Sometimes when you're tightening like this, you end up at the bottom, and then you have to follow all the way back up to the top and all the way down again, like this one. Where here it comes around here, and then we're gonna so we're gonna pull it, and then I'm gonna follow back up through the knot again, and then I gotta follow back down through the knot again taking up a little bit of slack. If I pull it too tight, it's gonna make the whole thing kitty wampus. So you just have to just keep randomly picking cords, working your way all the way around till you're down to the bottom on all of them. And I do it until it's so tight that um, I really can't stick the, the tool through anymore. And uh, so it takes quite a few times through. Now I haven't done black yet. I'm at the bottom of this one, so I pull it tight. Now I can work on the black one. You can go backwards too. You can go uh, right to left instead of left to right. It doesn't really matter. So when I get all the way done and tightened it as much as I possibly can, I snip and singe my loose cords as tightly as I can close to the knot. And then I dip it in some boiled hot water. <laughs> and then I roll it in a towel with a book. Hold on, Jade man, just wait one second. I'm making a video. Man, you can tell me. Okay, so but you that's said the idea. It. It's just slow. Right there we go. <laughs> that's why I have to tell you guys. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'll just wipe that up in a second. And so that's the idea. You can see it's it's quite time consuming as with any large knots. You just go and go and go. It's also